Hi everyone, it's Vesper, back again this time just to throw out some ideas and think aloud, I guess. And I guess get some opinions about this topic because I don't know... I imagine it's not just me, but I don't see a lot of people talking about it, so yeah, just gonna throw this out there. It occurred to me relatively recently, I guess because I'm slow about these things, I guess, that a lot of, if not the majority of my attraction that I felt in the past actually wasn't attraction at all, but rather was gender envy or gender admiration, I guess. Before I go any further, I want to clarify that I'm using gender envy or I guess even gender admiration in this video because I don't have any better words or ways to talk about this, so I'm just pulling those terms out of my ass. Maybe a year from now I'll be using completely different terminology to talk about this, I don't know. But yeah, for now, bear with me. I also want to point out that the vagueness of the word gender in this instance is entirely desirable and intentional because I feel like gender envy or gender admiration can refer to many different things and can manifest itself in many different ways. So. For example, while it might be envy or admiration of how someone expresses themselves, and that self-expression may or may not have anything to do with gender for that person, but it may refer to self-expression or gender expression, but that's not all that it can be about. It can be about gender identity, being envious of or admiring someone's identity. It can be about gender roles, or at least how you perceive that other person as fulfilling, breaking, or being beyond gender roles. Sometimes someone else's complete lack of gender roles can be, you know, really admirable. Or sometimes it's about gender norms and, you know, maybe you are held to certain norms by society but you see someone else as being free of those norms and you're envious of that or just admire that or vice versa. As complicated as gender itself is, I feel like gender envy, gender admiration, all gender feelings are equally complicated. So. I feel like I'm probably not even grazing the surface of this topic with this really short video, but I hope you get what I'm trying to get at. As someone who's both non-binary and asexual, I feel like both of those things played a big part in me confusing gender envy with attraction. Maybe this is something that anyone and everyone can relate to, I have no idea, but as an asexual someone who doesn't experience sexual attraction, the one thing that society is so preoccupied with, I feel like that I unconsciously kept grasping at straws in an effort to relate to other people. I took other things and used it to fill the place of sexual attraction since I didn't actually experience sexual attraction. But not specifically sexual attraction because once I was out to myself as asexual and had a better understanding of what sexual attraction apparently is, yeah, it was. it's pretty obvious that sexual attraction is not what I had gender envy confused with. It was another type of attraction. For those of you who aren't familiar with the concept of different types of attraction, in the asexual community, attraction is often broken up into different types. For example, sexual attraction, romantic attraction, aesthetic attraction, sensual attraction, etc. And I'm not going to go into detail about the different types of attraction in this video. You can watch an ancient video of mine if you want to find out more. That video is shit, actually. If you want better resources, maybe check the links in the description of this video. Anyway, discovering that there are different types of attraction, that not all attraction equates to sexual attraction, has helped me as well as many other aces navigate the things that we do feel and experience since we don't experience sexual attraction like others do. I admit that I was quick to chalk up the various feelings that I've had towards people to the various types of attraction and I thought everything was squared away nice and neat, or actually not neat at all, but squared away at least. But now thinking back on it more, I feel like maybe a lot of what I assumed to be aesthetic attraction was actually not attraction at all, and some of it wasn't even about aesthetics. Like, it's gotten to the point where I have, I've had to, like, stop myself and breathe 
think things like, was I ever aesthetically attracted to men like I assumed I had been? Or was it all just some degree, level, form of gender envy, gender admiration? But see, this is where my actual gender comes into play and where things get really, really mind-fucking for me because I am not a man in any way, nor do I identify as masculine at all, but people insist on viewing me that way and labeling me as such. And so to realize and acknowledge that I have some level, some form, some amount of gender envy or admiration for people who are male or masculine, it just really, really fucks me up. Why? Because it's shit like that that people have used against me to invalidate my actual gender by saying that, oh, I'm, I'm basically a trans man, or oh, you're just a stud, or ah, you're really masculine of center, aren't you? Or maybe you have internalized transphobia, blah, 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 whatever that person's agenda happens to be. When it comes to attraction, be it aesthetic or otherwise, towards women, it's really easy for me not to confuse gender envy with that. And on the other hand, when it comes to gender envy towards other non-binary people or gender non-conforming people, that is like the best kind of gender envy ever. I don't know how to explain it. It's just awesome. Yeah, like I said, this entire video is really me just now beginning to think about gender envy and conceptualize it and how it may relate to my previous thought of attraction towards people. And yeah, this video might not make any sense. It probably doesn't make any sense and it probably doesn't help that I've only had like three hours of sleep. Can you tell? Oh my god. But anyways, yeah, thank you for watching and putting up with it. I'm really interested in hearing about others' opinions and experiences with gender envy, gender admiration. If you think you have experienced it or do experience it, if you feel like it does play a part in attraction or have you have confused it with attraction, I anything. I just want to start a dialogue about this topic and find out if it's just me or if maybe it's actually a common thing. Yeah, let's talk. The dog wants to talk too. But yeah, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.